For the past decade at the helm of this rep policy forum, you've made it a leading voice in advancing the friendship between the United States and Israel. And Susie, you are a worthy successor. You as well have dedicated uh, yourself to uh, the well-being of the State of Israel and reminding us all of the sacred commitment we made as a nation to Israel's security. And like Peter, you've never given up on the cause of peace because you know, you know as well as, as I do and, and those who care the most that you know that these two things go together, peace and Israel's security. That continued progress toward a two-state solution is absolutely essential for Israel's security and its endurance as a Jewish democratic state in the Middle East. Peter, we honor your leadership, and I might add your statesmanship. And tonight, there are no two better people to speak to those traits of leadership and statesmanship than General Allen and Ambassador Shapiro. General, it's been a pleasure working with you, man. You've been a leader in the fight to wipe out ISIL's evil, and you have done incredible work in identifying the security enhancements that Israel will need under a two-state solution outcome. And General, as I said, it's been a great honor serving you. You're a man of integrity. You do our nation proud. And my old friend Dan, or as I should say, Mr. Ambassador, Ambassador Shapiro. Dan, uh, we've been soul brothers for a long time and, and, and threw a lot together. And the president could not have made a better choice in appointing you ambassador to Israel. You know how much we value your insight and your guidance, Mr. Ambassador. I don't know anyone who could have done a better job over these past years. Dan, you understand better than almost anyone I know that our alliance with Israel is as essential to our security in the region as it is to Israel's security. You've heard me say it many times, if there weren't an Israel, we'd have to invent one. Well, you've nurtured one. I've, uh, I've served with eight presidents, Dan, and I'm extremely proud to have served with President Obama. For I don't believe there's any president who's done more to enhance Israel's security than President Obama. The security cooperation between our nations is unprecedented under your leadership, Dan. The new Security Assistance Memorandum of Understanding we signed with Israel, $38 billion over 10 years, represents the largest pledge of military assistance the United States has ever made in our history. And it's, and it's well deserved and needed. I believe, as all of you do, that the United States has a deep and abiding moral commitment to the guarantee of the security of Israel. We made that commitment 11 minutes after Israel's founding in 1948. And no matter what policy disagreements we've had, and we've had them, no matter what policy disagreements we've had in Israel at any given point, that commitment is immutable. It has never been in question. And it never will be in question, so long as people like Peter and General Allen, Ambassador Shapiro, all of you, all of you in the audience tonight, continue to insist that Israel's security is a matter of U.S. national interest and our moral obligation. As all of you who know me know, I'm never going to stop standing and fighting alongside all of you for Israel's security. I want to thank you for all you continue to do to be guarantors of that. Thank you.